The wilderness is dangerous. It's the only area in the entire game where you can be attacked by other players and lose your items. There are quite a few things worth going for in the wilderness since the idea of the wilderness is that risk versus reward factor. You don't go into the wilderness without accepting the fact that you can be killed. Back in the day, people used to love the wilderness. It was this scary wasteland with boundless possibilities for exploration and treasure. But to many today, it's seen as an inconvenience. People still want the rewards of the wilderness, but the idea of risking just doesn't really mesh well with people and th there's a word I think for that I just I just can't really figure out what it is runescape is all about choice right you don't have to do anything you don't want to I mean quite literally when you start a new account you have four different options to choose from how you want to play this game runescape is a good game because you get to choose your adventure you can make your account into whatever you want and you can choose to take on any challenges that the game has to offer you want to learn how to do theater of blood you have to accept the fact that you're probably going to die a few times in the process of learning it don't want to accept the fact that you can die in the theater of blood then you don't need to do it. If you don't want to accept the risks that come along with doing an activity, then don't do the activity. Let's switch things up a bit here. Just imagine that you're playing a game like Breath of the Wild, but that's not multiplayer. Shut up. And you want to fully upgrade the Master Sword, but to do so, you have to go through the Trial of the Sword, which is a difficult gauntlet of 45 floors, each filled with enemies that get harder and harder as you go on. You'll face some of the toughest challenges in there. I mean, I've done this trial over and over, and it's just so hard. Hours and hours of just throwing myself at it, only to die time and time again with absolutely no save point in between each set of trials. But by the end of it, you get this absolutely satisfying feeling knowing that you faced a tough challenge head on and ultimately came out on top. Now just imagine that instead of going through any of that, I just complained to Nintendo to stop forcing me into a dangerous area and instead let me get the upgraded Master Sword in a safe area so I don't have to actually worry about dying. Wouldn't that be pretty dumb? That's kind of how people actually look at the wilderness and RuneScape. They think that they're forced into going there when in reality they're not. Going into the wilderness is a choice. If you want the rewards from the wilderness, you accept the risk of going in. And I have wanted the reward of getting a wilderness pet for a very long time. So you better believe that I'm taking the risk. Any wilderness pet will do to be honest, but I'm going to try to kill each boss in absolute max gear 100 times over until I get the pet. I started off the wilderness adventure by doing Venonatus, and at first I didn't actually know how to do the good safe spot for Venonatus where you're actually standing in single combat. So I was standing in multi-combat for this, which is, uh, you know, not smart. I did it for about 15 kills, and then I finally decided I'm going to actually learn the safe spot properly. Oh, perfect. Hmm. So I couldn't set it up properly at first, but... Oh my god. <laughs> hey, I'll take that. <laughs> I didn't even set up the safe spot yet. To do this properly, you need to have all these tiles marked, and it kind of seems weird, but there's a reason for it. The best way to actually mark all these tiles is by going to a free-to-play world, since there's not going to be anybody here, and there's not going to be any spider here. These tiles are where Venonatus spawns. These tiles are one directly east of multi, so this shows you where the multi line is. And one spot west of here where I'm standing is how you start off this safe spot. So to get this to work properly, you stand in the safe spot praying mage, and you wait until Venonatus walks on the blue tiles that you marked for the spawn. Once Venonatus walks on that, Venonatus will look at you, and you have one tick to attack Venonatus. After that, you wait for Venonatus to get a bit closer, and then you can move freely as long as you're attacking on ticks. So if you miss any ticks, this will mess up the safe spot. For what it's worth, this isn't a guide. If you actually want to learn how to do this, go look up a guide. This is just explaining how mechanically I'm doing the safe spot. So now if a team comes, I have a much higher shot at surviving here. And because of this, this is most likely going to be the safest wildy boss that I can do, aside from KBD. Onyx bolt chips. Oops. Oh, look at that. A whole team and they couldn't freaking get me. Oh, it's pures. Ooh, nice. Gotta be honest, once I actually figured out this method because it seemed a lot more daunting than it actually is, this actually makes this boss, like, pretty good. <laughs> you actually just wait for the spider to turn, look at you, and at that point, that's when you click. Mm -mm. Well, I was just scouted, so, you know, this is a bad idea, but here we go. This is, like, the only time I need to be in multi is to go loot and then obviously set it up. Oh, he just scouted me. 
and before a team comes. Uh oh. Well, good attempt, fellas. So the person north of me was a scout. Got it. Oh, well, that's nice. That's a nice little droppy. Wow, they are after me. Holy crap. Nice. Chances that I get attacked by a team when I go over here? Apparently not zero. All right, last kill. Do we get the pet? Let's see the loot we got from this, then it's on to the next boss. So here's all the loot I got from Venonatus. Let's sell it and see what we got from it. I was getting about like 15 to 20 kills per hour, so it didn't take me a terribly long time to do this, although I had to be careful because whenever PKers came after me, I took a break. The only time I decided it wasn't worth taking a break was right at the end because I just wanted to grind it out. But let's get the total price check. First and probably most expensive inventory. Last inventory, 15 mil. So we got 15, 15 mil. All right, on to the next boss. Up next, we've got Callisto the Bear. Pretty easy safe spot as well. All you gotta do is just mark a series of tiles and then you move from one tile to the next. Really, if you're trying to look up a guide, it's like the easiest thing in the world. But I'm gonna actually be using my other account to lure Callisto to the safe spot. And then on framed, I can go attack Callisto. And if any PKR logs in, I'll simply log out. So this spot can definitely be dangerous, but as long as I get the log out, I should be fine. Otherwise, I could get attacked down to level 31 wilderness, TB'd, and then probably killed. All right, so I'm thinking this is going to take a long time to actually do this because I think it's like at most 20 kills an hour. But, you know, it should be uh, should be okay money, at the very least. Two complete noobs. You really going to try to spear me in multi? <laughs> you trying to spear me in multi? <laughs> you got to catch me now. You're going to run away from me? Oh, you're going to spear me. So I did get attacked a decent amount on my other account, and what I would do is every time I got attacked, I'd go replenish and then go back. Well, uh, when I went back, I actually saw the guy who was just attacking me. This dude AFK? This dude's AFK. Dude, this is a joke. This is a miserable joke. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on! What's going on here? I'm gonna hit more like this, aren't I? Yes, I am. Alright. Well, he attacked me going down on this account, and then he was just standing here AFK. 620k. All right. Button. This is actually going to be my 25th kill, so almost a quarter of the way done. It is slow, but weirdly enough, it's going pretty smoothly. Because the second I see anybody, I just log out. So I'm going to have to do this for Vedion as well, because Vedion is a real pain in the ass. Probably the worst designed wilderness boss. So I have a mill so far from 25 Callisto kills. <laughs> I thought that was the pet. Wow, that came. That message literally came. The same tick I got the drop. Dude, why are you gonna keep doing that to me, man? Uh, I just passed 50 KC, and I gotta be honest, this is taking a very long time. And the thing is, this isn't even the slowest boss. Even doing this with literal max, it's taking me hours and hours, and it's, it's, <laughs> I've only had 50 kills. Oh, you don't have enough space in your bag. Well, I have grabbed a lot of vials. All right, that's uh, 76, so 24 more. Oh, big boy! My first actual unique item, Dragon 2H. This sucks. Oh, there you go. 100 kills. Literally, like, the only special thing that I got, the only rare item I got, was the Dragon Two-Hander. Kind of disappointing, but <laughs> with my luck on the last one, I guess you can't really complain. So here's all the loot from the Callisto Cub guy. No, I don't have to cub. That's the pet. Let's sell all of it. Total price check. Five point almost three mil. Oh, uh, yeah. Very lackluster. That took a very long time. Not even close to a mil an hour, because that took me many, many. I don't even know how long that took me, but I don't like that boss. I just like the pet. They have to rework these things. I think I already said that, but 
On to the next boss, which will chuck even more. This boss is single-handedly the worst boss in the entire wilderness. So what you have to do to safe spot him is actually pretty simple. You run to the middle, get his attention. You go over to this stump right here. Then once he stops walking, you run all the way southwest to this little rock formation right here I have marked. Once he stops walking in here, you run over to this square. You hit him once, and then you attack him twice from this square. You move back here. You attack him once. You click onto that square attack him twice you repeat that process and this boss actually sucks for two reasons one he has two forms and on half hp of both of those forms he summons two dogs that will just absolutely rail you so you got to attack and kill those dogs both times it's pretty much just a time waster and two this is a very active pk area in multi and i don't really have a safe way to escape if i get tb'd since i'm not in level 30 wilderness and a team comes to hit me I'll probably die, so uh, I'm not looking forward to this. There's no safe way to play this. I cannot log out because of these hellhounds attacking me. I can't tell you because I'm not in level 30 wilderness. This will be the worst boss. Yes, these guys are shaking. Dude, I have like the strongest range defense ever. The ballist is not gonna work. Come on, bring someone in max. Have they given up? All right. Uh oh. Well. I am probably dead here. Yes, I am. Good fight. I hate this boss. Yeah, so that's why this one is the worst. So, uh, you know, I'm just going to get through this boss because I still have three more to go. So uh, I'm going to de-gear a bit just to get through it because uh, I knew this boss would be the worst one. Already died here. I'm getting through this boss. Screw it. All right, I'm going out like this now to get this done because I, I don't want to do this boss at all. It's been like an hour at this point since uh, I got PK'd. And aside from the one guy, I've not seen anybody. People sensed fear before. Oh, perfect. Wild Might? It's kind of a loser clan name, but all right. We might kill you in the wild, I don't know. Champion Scroll, are you kidding me? Well, I may as well go and bank that, I guess. Yeah, that was a one in 5,000 drop. The pet is a one in 2,000, so that's already cool. What the fuck be happening? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> it's over. <laughs> uh, whatever. I'm not even gonna try. Go on, lads. You know, when I first started killing Vedion, where he says, kill my pets, I thought he was telling me to like, hey, kill my animals for me. But now I see the comma now, and he's just telling his pets to kill me. But it really just makes me think he is one comma away from being a true monster. All right, 75 KC, 25 more to go, and I am out of this hellhole. Oh my god. Dude. I'm not complaining with that. I've never gotten one of these in this game before. That's awesome. Last kill. Ancient staff. Yeah, this place is riddled with PKers. I knew I was going to get killed here. So obviously, I have to gear back up and max again for the next three bosses. All right, so loot from 100 Vedion. I'll save the ring for last. That was incredibly lucky to actually get this ring, dude. Even out of one in 512, this is the most expensive thing you can get from the wilderness. Total loot, close to 25 mil from Vedion. This took a long time, not as long as Callisto. Uh, but was it worth it? I mean, if I didn't get that ring, no, it wouldn't have been worth it. <laughs> so fortunately for me, there's only one chance for me to run into PKers, and that's actually on the way to KBD. Oh god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Because KBD is so easy and safe, I'm going to be doing a thousand KC of it as opposed to 100. I never need to leave on this account because I can just bring myself supplies from my other account. So uh, pretty much we either get it within a thousand KC or we don't. I'm going to collect some of the stackable items and then I'm going to alk the rest of the items that I can alk. Hey, a dragon med helm. That's kind of funny. That was one of the rares you killed uh, this thing for back in the day. All right, so uh, this is where I would stop at the 100 KC, but it takes next to no time to actually kill this 
and I'm enjoying this. So I'm going to continue with this boss. So with every other boss, I was getting maybe 10 to 20 kills an hour, depending on the boss. Vedion and Callista were pretty slow. I think I was maybe getting like 12 an hour. But I was testing how many kills I get on average an hour at KBD. 72 kills an hour. So getting our KC to 1000 isn't necessarily going to take that long. Oh. <sighs> Okay, scared me. You like KBD heads? I'm milking these, dude. Dude, you and your fucking KBD heads. Dude, stop freaking me out. Oh my god. <laughs> this is a cruel joke. Oh. Cool. Another one of these bad boys. Dude! KBD had ha, funny. 750kc. Nothing yet except a bunch of D-meds and a bunch of disappointment. This game just be trolling me, man. Dude, this guy has been waiting here for an hour because they're trying to scout me out because they think they're gonna <laughs> they think they're gonna kill me on this account when I haven't left in hours. Like literally, I've been here for like six plus hours. Actually, I think even longer than that. I don't have to ever leave on this account, so it's funny that they're trying to scout me out. Alright, another half hour. Is this guy still here waiting for me? Another one is now? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> like, you make it so obvious. Alright. That is 1,000 KBD. No pet. <laughs> so, I didn't keep everything. Uh, I just wanted to take some stackables. I did high alk a bunch of stuff, so that's the cash tag I got from high alking all the rune and adamant drops I got. So, I'll get the total price check for this, and then I'll show you what I would have gotten if I actually did loot everything. So, 7.9 mil definitely cost me way more to actually go there. In terms of the actual loot from KBD, I would have gotten nearly 16 mil if I looted literally everything. So next up, we now have Scorpia. No safe spots here. It's just as simple as freezing Scorpia and then killing it. For those curious why I've worn a serpentine helmet to all of this, by the way, it's because a lot of things in the wilderness have the potential to poison you, including a decent amount of the bosses that I went to. So I figured if PKers come and venom me, or if one of the bosses try to poison me, I'll be fine this way. Oh, a malediction. This is worthless. Used to be worth something. All right, KC50. Really, I'm not expecting anything from here. I like this boss. I'd be happy to get the pet, but not expecting anything. All right, 100 KC. Didn't really expect much from it. For real, this is kind of disappointing seeing the loot. And like 750k. Next boss up is the Chaos Elemental, and this is probably going to be my best bet at getting the pet. The safe spot for this involves me being by where PKers log in by the castle, and uh, I don't want to do that, so I will not be safe spotting the Chaos Elemental. I'll just be attacking head on. Oh god, there's a PK. Yes! Yes! Okay, I gotta be careful, I gotta be careful. <sighs> Come on, please let me out of here. Please, 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 please let me out of here. And we are... Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> hey, little guy, what's going on? Wait, oh wait, what? Is it true a level 3 skiller caught one of your siblings? Yep, they killed my me. Can I my brother smiled about it and went to sleep? Ah, uh, well you have me now. You call me a little squishy little baby boy. Time to ensure. Oh, you know, I expected to be there. I mean, at, at longer than 18 kills. That much is for sure. Absolutely longer than 18 kills. And you know what? I love this guy! This guy is so cool looking! I am actually so happy that I have this! <laughs> oh my gosh! You know, overall, I think I profited. Let's do a total price check of everything and see if I actually did profit. So overall, from these bosses, I made 52 mil, but I did die, so overall I profited 
nearly 30 mil. And I got a pet. I decided to go back to Venonatus and get my KC up to 200 to see if I could get the pet, but nothing. So if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like. And if you want to see me go for another pet anywhere else in the game, let me know by commenting down below. I actually do have a few more ideas in this realm. So if you're interested in these videos, please let me know down below. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time.